Hello everyone, the students of Indonesia. Welcome from Unitalia Indonesia. So in this session, we will have to inform you regarding virtual Italian days on higher education. Especially for this year, we will have the second virtual event in order to inform you and we will uh, do branding awareness regarding Italian days on higher education. So before we know more about this event, so let me inform you the general, general video presentations of PIDOHE Indonesia 2021. So that's the video that you will see. And then uh, we will have to focus on uh, our further di discussions in order to know you more about this event. So I will have to invite our colleague, Marco Calpi, in order to have more information regarding Pidohe Indonesia 2021. So welcome, Marco. Hello, Marco. How are you? Ciao, Romero. And Ciao, Marco. Bene. Tu come stai? Bene, come bene, va? grazie, okay. grazie Marco. So, thank you for coming for this uh, imposition in order to know more about Pidohe Indonesia 2021. So Marco, um, we will like to help Indonesian students to more these events. And then I would like to ask you some questions uh, regarding this virtual event. So the first one, where and when the fair will be held, actually. So, okay, great. Thank you, Romero. And uh, so uh, uh, the, mm, the fair is a virtual uh, fair that uh, will uh, involve uh, many uh, Italian universities and, uh, 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 and uh, uh, everyone can, uh, can participate, uh, all these Indonesian students, but also students from uh, uh, other countries can join uh, this fair, uh, but it is specifically, uh, this fair is specifically for Indonesian students. So, and it will start uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday, November 20, 20, 26th until uh, uh, Sunday, uh, November 28th, uh, starting at, uh, um, at 4 p.m. Uh, Jakarta time until, uh, 9, uh, until 9 p.m. Okay, thank you. And then the, the, the other questions, you mentioned that already the dates and also timing for this event. And then you mentioned the student can participate. So how come the student can participate in joining this event? So it is very, very simple because the students uh, need to, uh, to register. Uh, there is a lending uh, registration form that uh, is uh, very, very easy to, um, to, to fill. It takes uh, around maybe one minute, one, one minute, one minute and a half, ma maximum two minutes. And after that, you will, uh, you will receive in your, in your email uh, the password to, uh, to enter into the fair. And uh, uh, please check always the, the spam box because sometimes uh, the the password, uh, the our email, entering your spam in uh, your spam folder, and uh, so please check always the uh, the spam and uh, and uh, after you have the password, you can join the the fair, and um, and yes, you can uh, uh, you can start in uh, uh, you can start in uh, watching video and uh, other things. Okay. Wow, that's quite easy, actually. 
I mean like you just uh, enter the portal of Vidohe Indonesia, just register yeah. and then you will get the username and password. And then yes, uh, exactly. other yeah. questions, mm -hmm. um, what kind of activities that student can have during the fair? So during the fair, uh, so there will be uh, 17 Italian higher education institutions uh, which will join uh, the, 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 the virtual fair and the students uh, can, uh, can chat directly to, to, to the uh, Italian higher education institutions uh, representatives and uh, if they want they can also uh, call uh, call uh, call them to ask any any question they they would like to uh, to ask so for example if uh, if they have uh, i don't know uh, courses in english or uh, courses in italian if there is a entrance test or other other things and uh, for um, furthermore they can also uh, watch presentation of of these uh, uh, 17 uh, uh, Italian higher education institutions. So uh, each, each institution will have, uh, um, will, uh, will have time to present themselves to the Indonesian students. The, uh, the, schedule, uh, the schedule will be, uh, will be published every, uh, each day in the morning after uh, the beginning of the fair, there is a, a let's say a uh, virtual booth uh, with the name live events there you can watch the presentation of these uh, 17 universities and also you uh, also you can chat with uh, with us uh, also with you romero <laughs> they can chat with you because there is a, um, a virtual booth for unitalia indonesia and also a virtual booth for uh, unitalia uh, uh, italia rome let's say and there is a, um, a, a let's say a, a virtual. Um, there is also a page where you can see all the the list of all the university uh, which will join the fair. And uh, just clicking on uh, on the name of the university, you can read some information and also, uh, as I said before, chat or talk with them. Wow that's interesting i mean like you mentioned already uh, there will be 17 italian higher institutions i mean in joining uh this fair for indonesia especially only for you indonesian students so take this opportunity because uh yeah you got you got time and then you got chance also to to discuss directly with the italian uh, higher education representative and then, yes, thank you so much, Marco, for your detailed information. Thank you, Romero. Yeah, thank you. And then also, I would like to invite another, my colleague here. Okay, who, who is uh, the colleague of Unitalia? So welcome here, Marina. Hello, Marina, how are you? Ciao, Romero. Ciao, Romero. And ciao to all the Indonesian students. I'm fine. What about you? Um, I'm doing good here. Thank you for asking. So, yes, we continue about uh, to know more about uh, Vidohe Indonesia itself. But okay. this more about the opportunity to get uh, financial aid or students grants for especially for international students. But Indonesia uh, as non-EU citizens, how about the financial uh, aid? itself what kind of opportunity and then where the student can find the financial aid itself okay so in italy there are both public and private higher education institution and the tuition fee are in general more affordable than the other countries so there are different kind of scholarship to apply for um for example the first one is offered by the italian ministry of foreign affairs the second one is uh, Investor Talent in Italy, which is very famous uh, in Indonesia. And uh, it is a scholarship promoted by the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, Italian Trade Agency, and also Unitalia. 
um, students can also apply for regional scholarships and uh, some university may also offer uh, partial or full tuition fee waivers for international students. So it is not easy to find uh, information about study abroad. And so for that reason, uh, each day we publish uh, posts and information on our social media. So if you want to know more about uh, um, financial aid, uh, I strongly suggest you to all the students to follow us. So, wow, another interesting uh, information regarding uh, many choices actually for international students um, yes. to get financial aid itself. And then, yes, uh, Marina just mentions here, uh, if you like to know more about financial aid itself, you have to follow all the information offered by university and also the Italian governments in order to give you uh, student grants, scholarship or financial aids to international students. Quite, uh, it was interesting actually. Wow, thank you so much, Marina. So, mm -hmm. um, and then I would like to, to invite uh, Marco uh, at the beginning here. And then I would like to ask a very specific questions to you guys. Um, okay. Hi, Marco, welcome back. Oh. Yes, okay. So uh, maybe um, both of you already mentioned the opportunity and then also the whole information regarding Pidohe Indonesia itself. So my questions here, a very specific one to you guys. Maybe uh, I need your uh, personal reasons or a very specific information. Why? Uh, international student, especially for Indonesia, to choose Italy as a uh, education destination country. Uh, maybe I will, uh, I will start to Marco. Why to study in Italy? So uh, it, is, uh, it is not uh, a simple uh, question. Uh, I mean, uh, it is uh, because students have to, to choose uh, the country where to, to continue or start uh, their academic life. So uh, basically, why, why choose Italy? Uh, Italy is, um, is home of one of the oldest uh, university in Europe, the University of Bologna, but is also home of other many, uh, many other uh, um, university founded in, uh, in, the, in the 13th century or uh, or also 14th and uh, so basically uh, our university are uh, are um, yes are are old and uh, uh, and also the, uh, the education system allowed students to uh, to yes focus on study uh, focus on on study for a bachelor uh, for uh, for for the bachelor which uh, lasts for, for three years uh, master degree for uh, for two years and uh, also for other um, uh, for and for specific uh, uh, for specific uh, courses like uh, for example medicine medicine it is a, a it is a single cycle master degree which uh, uh, which lasts for uh, uh, six years, and uh, also with the uh, Italian degree, you can. Uh, uh, so the, the Italian uh, the Italian degrees are recognized in Europe and around the world. So it will be very uh, useful for uh, uh, for the for the, for the career for the future career of students in the in, in the in the world of. Uh, of job and uh, work, and um, also Italy is home of uh, uh, it is the the, uh, the the country with uh, almost I think uh, fifty five or fifty six uh, uh, I don't remember specifically uh, world heritage uh, sites recognized by UNESCO. So it is one of the uh, it is the is the, the country, yes, with the highest number 
of uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And also studying in Italy, it doesn't mean uh, to, uh, that the students have to learn Italian because in, in Italy there are uh, almost, uh, I think, 700 uh, undergraduate and, and postgraduate degrees. So uh, studying in Italy means also that students can study in English and maybe outside the, the university can, uh, can uh, exercise the, uh, the Italian uh, language skills. So you can, uh, yes, basically you will use English inside the university and outside the university, you can, uh, the, the students can, uh, can speak, can, um, can speak uh, Italian. Wow. Wow, Marco uh, just give us uh, very detailed information. Maybe Marina, do you have any other point of views why study in Italy? Um, so as Marco said, it's, uh, it's not necessary to know Italian, but if students decide to learn Italian, they can also improve their language skills. And uh, one of the most important reasons is also the quality of life, because uh, it is very easy to travel all around Italy and also Europe. And uh, then, of course, food is delicious, also the weather. And uh, so uh, that's it. I also think that is the perfect place for people that, li that uh, like history, because uh, uh, as, uh, as Marco says, uh, uh, um, the Italian university are the oldest uh, in Europe uh, and uh, the quality of teaching uh, will uh, give all the students the opportunity for their, their future career. Wow. So guys. Oh. Romeo, um, can, can I just add one more uh, thing? Yes, you can, Marco. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, sometimes uh, students ask if they can uh, work during their, uh, their studies. Uh, yes, they can work during their studies, but they can work uh, uh, part-time for, it means that uh, they can work for a maximum of uh, uh, 20 hours per, per week. And uh, also the um, students who would like to, uh, to stay in Italy after the graduation, they can, they can stay in Italy looking for, for a job, and uh, uh, have, uh, let's say, a special residence permit, uh, which uh, allow the, the students, to, students to, to look for a job during, uh, for one year. So may uh, international students also get opportunity to get job, part-time job during study, and then uh, stay after graduations to look for job in Italy. Wow. That was interesting one. So thank you so much, uh, Marco and Marina. Before we end this uh, imposition, uh, we would like to give you another uh, video regarding video hey Indonesia. So please kindly watch this video, guys.
So thank you everyone. That's all about the uh, information regarding virtual Italian days on higher education 2021 for you Indonesian students. So thank you and then see you in this event. Ciao everybody. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. ciao.